we are embarking on level four, code blocks, vase. So you're gonna to wanna to start by adding some variables. Here I added three. Rotate for rotation, vertical, because I wanna go up and down, and size to change the size of my shape. So make sure you name them in a way that makes sense to you. Uh, here you can see my shape going to work. I have an octagon, an eight-sided torus, and what I did was write a loop that made it bigger, moved it up higher, and then rotated it slightly. So see if you can figure out what my algorithm was that led to that in my loop. Now remember, you're gonna do this by putting your code into a loop, a repeat, and then repeating the process. And at the end of that loop, it increments the variable or it increases the variable or decreases it by some amount, um, depending on what the design you're going for is. So you're gonna build a vase. Um, it should be not like mine. Here's a second version of what I did. You can see when it switches to the section where it gets smaller, the swirls go the other way. So think about how I changed the rotation there, what I did differently. Um, all this is fairly simple, um, but you can make a pretty complex and beautiful shape from it. So you need to make a vase. It needs to be on your own accord. You will export it as a part, as you see here, so that you'll have it in your Tinkercad drop down under Part Collection. Uh, and then you'll drag it in, as you're seeing on the screen now. You'll make a new design bring it in, and then add to it with some text. Maybe you want to put it as a whole uh, with your name. And if you're making it for somebody in particular, you could add that. Uh, but you can see how awesome it is to be able to design something in code blocks and then use it in your 3D designs. So think about how to rotate, move up and down, and then repeat a shape. And what, what is the effect you're going for? What's the shape you're looking for in order to do this? Now, if you come up with something you like, remember it's good to duplicate it and then tinker with it. So that way you have one code blocks file with your original that you liked, and you have another file um, where you can play around with it because it's likely that the first thing you like isn't gonna be the coolest thing you make. If you tinker around with it more, explore, think really about X, Y, and Z. Remember X is left and right on the, bed, on the print bed, Y is front and back, and Z is up and down. Um, that can help you try rotating around different axes, try X, Y, and Z, try messing with the size, and you get a final print like this, printed in our new silky blue filament, which is a good look, has a lot of gloss to it. So get out there and be creative, and I'm looking forward to seeing your vase.